on a recent Saturday, more than 700 people flooded a Denver black church for their first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. Surveys show African Americans are more hesitant than others in the population about getting vaccines. We've done a lot of work to educate people in the community. There's still a lot of work to be done. Dr. Terry Richardson says black doctors and nurses like her help ease the concerns of a group that's long been distrustful of the medical profession. We're pro-vaccine, we're pro-COVID vaccine because we think our people need to hear that explicitly stated from health professionals. Professionals like members of the Samson family, six of whom went into the medical field. He forced and inspired us. <laughs> he, he basically said, this is what we're going to do. An elder sibling, along with their parents, sent the Samson children a powerful message. I don't care if you're a giraffe or elephant. If you can go to school, you can become anything you want to be. The role of blacks in medicine stretches back centuries. The slave who saved countless lives during a smallpox epidemic. The first doctor to perform heart surgery. A blood transfusion pioneer. And yet, the African American community, like most minority communities, are underserved uh, by physicians, particularly physicians of color. Mike Mansfield, who teaches African American studies, refers to statistics that show blacks made up just 2.6% of doctors in 2019 and 7% of students enrolled in medical school in 2020. Prompting the question, where are my African Americans? Where where did they go? The Samson say the civil rights era of the 1950s and 60s saw greater emphasis on academics in the African American community. They fear that that momentum has been lost in recent decades. The younger generation, these kids are, are floundering in terms of what to do, having very few role models. Young African American girls are told that you know they they can't go into science that's not a path that they should take the saying it's hard to be what you can't imagine may apply here there is discouragement from attempting things that are difficult it's a marathon it's not a sprint that was something dr justina ford understood and lived the first black licensed female physician in Colorado was denied membership in the American Medical Society, but still delivered 7,000 babies during her 50 year long career. Sometimes her patients couldn't pay the bills. Sometimes we wonder how in the world she was able to afford to live. Terry Gentry, who studied Dr. Ford, says this trailblazer who was committed to service proved to be more the exception than the rule when it came to blacks in medicine. It seems like there continues to be other barriers and other political issues that want to interfere with that. We still have a long way to go. The ambition is there. It's just, can we overcome the structural uh, barriers to get to that point? Barriers like the cost of medical education. Say his name! The Samsons believe today's racial justice movement has actually lit a fire under older generations. We have an opportunity to influence younger minorities coming behind us. And that is our goal and objective. We should understand that we have to do more, be more, to get where we want to go to have a future for our grandchildren. Studies show black patients with black medical providers often have better health outcomes. They know that we have the same lived experience of being black in America, that's very important. These days, that trust and the shots that are administered as a result could be life-saving. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.